All right, okay, so if we uh, run the app right now, okay, so let's see uh, what the, the result okay, will look like, okay. Okay, all right, okay, so it's, quick, uh, it's giving us okay, the, uh, the image file name, but then okay, uh, we want to uh, display the image instead of the uh, image uh, file name, okay. So let's see okay, how do we do that, okay. So let me go back to the grid view control and then over the uh, smart attack menu over here, let me pick edit a uh, column and over the available field case, we want, might want to can move up a little bit and then okay, this is the image field that we want and click add. And then okay, uh, again, uh, for the uh, new column, okay, we're gonna add okay, uh, next to the image file here. Okay, then you can pick the uh, header text. Okay, so I might want to call it okay, image. Okay. And then get okay, over the uh, okay, the uh, data image, okay, uh, UIL field, okay, then I'm going to uh, get the value, okay, from the uh, image file name, okay, and then, okay, uh, what uh, the format, okay, uh, it might look like, okay, so again, uh, if you got a chance to look at uh, the uh, output, okay, format, this is the, uh, okay, uh, zero indicate that uh, that will be the, uh, uh, the placeholder okay, value for the first parameter. Okay, well, actually, this is there's only one parameter. Okay, so the image file name okay, will be put in here. Okay, but then okay, uh, if you look at the uh, folder for the images here, then it means that okay, we have to okay, proceed the image file name okay, with the uh, folder name okay, we pick. Okay, so which will be uh, images, okay, so again, click OK, okay, click OK, yeah. All right, and then, okay, uh, let's run it, okay, let's run it, yeah. So, let's run it. So, it's loading, yes, yeah, it's not bad, okay, but then uh, the image is kind of too big, they right? Yeah, too big. Yeah. So maybe uh, we want to reduce okay, the size a little bit. Okay. So you can go back here to fine tune it a little bit. Okay. So edit a uh, column okay, and then select the uh, image. And then under the uh, item style, okay, under item style, okay, and then you can uh, look into okay, such as let's say uh, the width. Okay, maybe. Uh, let's set it to maybe uh, 50 pixel, okay. And then the height, okay, set it to 50 pixel as well. Again, you can always get okay, play with it, okay. Make sure you tab away, okay. So the value will uh, be saved, okay. Click OK, okay. And then, okay, uh, let's run it again. Okay, let's run it again. So it's loading, okay. And then uh, hopefully the image size will be smaller. All right, okay, so let me see, it's still too big, okay, so let me see uh, what uh, did I miss, okay, so give me a minute, okay, so image, okay, and then, oh, my bad, okay, I picked the wrong one, okay, I shouldn't pick the item style, my bad, my bad, okay, so let me delete that one, okay, okay delete that one, okay. All right, okay, and then go to the control style. This is the one I should uh, pick, okay, my bad, okay. So let me pick, okay, 50 pixel, okay, for the height, 50 pixel, okay, for the uh, width, okay. Click okay, and then run it again, okay, run it again. It's loading, okay, it's loading, okay. And then uh, there you go, okay, so far so good. So you see that the uh, image is way smaller than okay, this one, okay. And then, uh,